the thing that struck me about the grow facility was that you could smell it as soon as you pulled onto the street. Absolutely, yeah. It was fascinating though inside of it. You definitely could smell it, and it, but it was so cool to see how they grow it and, and like how they have to have the lights, the water irrigation system, how much work goes into growing a marijuana plant. Yeah, and the, the way they have it spaced out, each room is of a different process, just like they grow tomatoes. Or anything, exactly, and that's the way she kind of described it. It was just like any other you know agricultural plant that they're growing there. Except when you go into that back room where, <laughs> where they're measuring it all out and that. That's when I got a little Breaking Bad sense in it. Right. The people in that room, it was very small. There were a lot of people crammed in there measuring out this substance, this tan brown. Resin, they call it, yes. It's, yeah. a, a par, it's, a, it's made out of uh, THC still, but it's a different type. The dispensaries were really interesting. Um, they, did, they were secure. We had to show our IDs a couple times um, and be buzzed in. So they make sure that you check your ID and they buzz you in. Um, and there was no slack on that. Every single person that came in, even some of the people you could tell they knew who they were. They checked their ID anyway. Absolutely. And we had camera. You know, we weren't there to buy. We were just there to record. Right. And we still got, you know, our, our IDs checked. And they were busy. They were. They Steady were stream very of busy. people. Mm -hmm. One after the other. They, Every five minutes or so, yep. A couple more people would come in. One of them, well, I guess both of them had waiting rooms. Yes, they did. Yeah, they did. They would, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wonder what they wait for there. I don't know. But uh, very interesting though. The inside. I mean, it's all cash business. So we saw a lot of cash being exchanged, yeah. which they also have security measures for. Um, and then just the types of products. I was just shocked at how many different things you can make out of marijuana. Yeah, it's I mean, surprising. The body lotions to the candies to the chips, or I mean, you can make anything yeah. out of marijuana. And you can have you can buy pre-made candy bars and candies or you can buy the food ingredients and make it at home. Exactly, yes. The edibles is a big concern um, for some parents out there. I, we talked to one lady who is involved with a group called Smart Colorado, and uh, her organization is all about making sure that these edibles, which look like candy, filled with THC, don't get in the hands of kids. So we saw some there, and it and was- you can't tell the difference. You can't tell the difference. They look, it looks like candy. Fortunately, they are packaged differently. So you can't see through the package, um, and, you know, that kind of a thing. So you can't see the gummy bears inside of the package, hoping that that will deter kids from... Well, and you can't buy them at the corner market either. Yes, I mean, You have to go strict. to a dispensary. But once you've got those gummy worms home and put them in a candy dish... You wouldn't know the difference. There's no way to tell the difference. Exactly. And, you know, the same goes with the, the cookies and stuff. And that stuff's potent from what we understand. Yes. They said, you know, a lot of people overdose on those kind of uh, the edibles because... You get a whole cookie, you're only supposed to eat one-fourth of it for your medicinal effect right. or whatnot, and, and people are eating the whole thing. And you're getting a little overdose on marijuana there. We did hear about a couple instances, too, that yeah. happened um, with overdoses from marijuana. There's two yeah, that we heard about. Yeah, one couple had one of those big cookies and ate, I think, almost the whole thing, if not the whole thing, and ended up in the hospital. Because of we definitely heard from everybody there that they had concerns about the way um, Ohio is proposing its marijuana um, amendment. So it was, uh, they had some interesting concerns. They did, and, but every single person questioned putting it in the Constitution and they questioned the 10 growth sites that were going to be written in. Right. And how do you change that later? How does the market grow? Everybody that we talked to in Colorado wanted the market to determine who grows and who doesn't and, and who's successful and who's not. They said it was pretty important to have that, but on a, the other side of things, they didn't know how it would how it would go because this has never been done before. That was the other thing. They're like, you're doing something that no right. one else has done before, no other state has done. So it'll be interesting to watch. That's what they said to see how you handle that. A lot of people are paying attention to what's going to happen this November. Exactly.